policy is partly to blame for what they describe as the scandalous level of homelessness. In a report published today, they accuse the government of failing to, to ensure an adequate supply of affordable housing where it's most needed. Fergus Walsh reports. The Roman Catholic bishops say the continuing rise in homelessness is intolerable and the government must share part of the blame for completely failing to provide adequate rented property. They point to the chronic shortage of affordable private rented property and the decrease in the number of available council homes as the main reasons for the increase in the number of homeless households. 126,000 in England and Wales last year and up by 17% in the first six months of this year. Though the bishops say the true homeless figure is much higher. And cutbacks in benefits have helped to put more young people out on the streets. I am my brother's keeper and he's sleeping pretty rough these days. For the bishops, it's a crisis which has a clear moral claim on the nation's conscience. Yes, education is important. Yes, social services are important. They're all moral issues. But there is a certain priority, I think, to be given to housing because without a roof over your head, a man hasn't a chance of a decent life at all. The bishops want the government to pledge more resources and suggest one way would be to target mortgage tax relief to first-time buyers, thereby releasing substantial sums for investment in housing. The government says it is providing more resources. I think many people are deeply upset by the sights of young people begging, sleeping rough. And with the voluntary organisations that I'm already in touch with, I hope to put together a programme which will make that uh, uh, type of activity unnecessary. The charity Shelter say with record numbers of people on the streets this Christmas, the government needs to fundamentally review its housing policy. The Cheltenham Tory Bill Galbraith, who made racist remarks about his local parliamentary candidate John Taylor, has apologised for them. In a statement issued through his solicitors, Mr Galbraith has now promised his unequivocal support for the candidate, who's a black barrister. Cheltenham Conservatives are due to meet tonight to consider expelling Mr Galbraith. Mr Taylor says he welcomes the apology, although he hasn't yet received Mr Galbraith's letter. At least 37 people have died in South Africa in renewed fighting between the Zulu Nkata movement and supporters of the ANC. Leaders of the two factions who've been meeting today have called on their followers to lay down their arms. The latest violence has centered on...